Hello everybody, Van Berman here, and welcome back to my show. Uh, <laughs> I'm just here to just, well, really to tell you about the fact that the Legends of Eisenwald are actually, is actually now on Steam, which most of you will have seen. Uh, the price is 11.99 over here. I don't know how much it is in the US, I haven't had a look on the US store, but I, I'm hoping it's more than fifteen dollars <laughs> probably is actually just fifteen dollars but if it because um, fifteen dollars was the amount which I pledged towards earlier on to get the full game uh, I, it's in early access at the minute which obviously means it's not finished I haven't had chance to play on it yet too much I was gonna do a little bit of recording for this video but um, it's been crashing on me every time I start it up, or when I get when I out when I uh, tab out of it is when it's been crashing, so I can't actually get my recording software to record it um, without tabbing out um, to do it. So there's no way for me to do that, I'm afraid. And it doesn't start up properly in Windowed mode either. So there are a few problems with it at the minute. Um, I have spoke to Alexander and you know he's they've been working really hard trying to get it released uh, trying to get it on Steam and they have been having a few problems but that was mainly he was telling me with antivirus uh, software stuff so uh, I, I, don't, I haven't had that problem obviously or at least I don't know that it's antivirus stuff but uh, yeah so it's a bit of a shame that I haven't got able to work properly yet but I'm sure you know. Given a couple of updates, we'll be right back on. They'll be right back on track. Uh, I asked about a potential release date as well for you guys. See if I could get anything, any sort of a roundabout date. But all he would tell me is that it's done when it's done. And I think um, you know, there's a lot of respect to be gained from from saying that a lot of companies might try to maybe release it a little bit earlier. And I really think they do their game a disservice when they do that, uh, especially with, for example, Rome 2. It is a brilliant game. Don't get me wrong at all. Is an amazing game. It's definitely worth going out and playing and buying, but the problem is that, quite frankly, it needed another month, two months working on it before it should have been released, just to get out all the kinks and make sure it's optimized to different people's systems. I know it's a lot of hard work and it takes a lot longer, and obviously you want to get it out there and get the sales from it. But <clears throat> I think if it's not ready and they haven't got it up to that quality yet then they should definitely be thinking about holding it back and I understand that obviously you know the creative assembly have bigger masters out there they have Sega but that's the great thing about Legends of Eisenwald they are their own company and it's, they seem very well, very well run as well so far and I've enjoyed my correspondence with them as well I have to say um, so it's a game that I would definitely recommend going and supporting um, not it's difficult with the early access games. I understand the fours and against them, and I do feel conflicted sometimes um, talking about them and obviously, uh, you know, buying the games that are in early access because obviously you do want them being made, but there's obviously no guarantee that they're going to be. So you do have to see it as sort of a bit more like a Kickstarter investment. But obviously, you have a set amount to put in, um, but still, fingers crossed, and we'll hope for the best with Legends of Eyes and World. Now, hopefully, um. I'll probably wait till it's on full release before I actually do any videos on it now, probably. And uh, and then, you know, you'll be able to see what it's like for yourself. And if you're an RPG fan, then it probably is something is going to interest you. Just whether it interests you enough to go out and spend your money on it or not. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, just thought I'd give you that quick update and what I know about Lens of Eyes and World. And uh, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.